Hello, this is your instructor, Teresa Pelkey. Welcome to our Web 2.0 class. In this class, we will revisit feeds to learn a little bit more about this technology. A web feed, RSS feed, news feed, XML feed, syndicated feed, all essentially refer to the same thing and can be represented by these most common icons and other types of buttons also. A feed is a method for subscribing to frequently updated content. This information is made available through a subscription. This is called syndication because the, we subscribe to the information and it is delivered to us. This information is coded inside an XML file which is the web feed. You need a feed reader to subscribe to the feed. The reader interprets the XML file and displays the information. So a feed is a text file written in the XML language and it can be in either an RSS or Atom format. You subscribe to the feed by using the URL or address of the feed and the reader interprets and displays the feed. This is an example of an XML file. We only have a couple tags visible, but you can see that the opening tag is an RNSS tag. We have a channel tag, a title, link, description. So the XML file contains descriptive tags which identify the different sections of the information. The reader interprets this information this, these tags and displays the output in our feed reader. The most common feed format is called RSS which stands for really simple syndication. The Atom format is also used and is also becoming more popular. So where can we find a feed? Well, we have already looked at blogs as having a web feed, but actually any type of updated content can, be, can generate a feed. For example, a Flickr photo stream can be subscribed to using an RSS feed. You can watch an eBay auction by subscribing to the feed of a particular auction. You can follow someone's delicious bookmarks by subscribing to the feed of those bookmarks. You can also embed any feed into a blog or an existing web page. A podcast is similar to a blog except that it is an audio or video file. It is broadcast over the internet and delivered by an RSS feed. So a feed will also be used to deliver a podcast to us. The difference is that the podcast is audio or video as opposed to our other types of feeds are essentially text graphics information. The difference between the podcast feed and our typical blog feeds is that the podcast feed contains an enclosure tag. In order to produce a podcast, you need to have an audio or video file, you need to have an RSS feed, and you also need a place to host your audio or video files. You will need the URL of your feed so that people can subscribe to it 
and you will need a mechanism to have that feed updated. So here is an example of our RSS feed and you see the enclosure tag. There are also additional tags in iTunes in the podcast feed that are specific to iTunes. It is easy to create a podcast by using Blogger. The first thing you need to do in the formatting section of the settings tab is to turn on yes for show link fields. This will enable you in your podcast settings when you are creating it to be able to add the enclosure link which is actually the enclosure tag in the podcast RSS feed. You can use FeedBurner to actually burn the feed and give you the URL address and you can have FeedBurner automatically add the iTunes tags to your feed You will return to Blogger and give the new URL for your podcast feed. And then in iTunes, you can actually submit your feed to the iTunes directory for inclusion in their podcasts. You will need to click on the iTunes store in the menu, then the podcast tab, and then on the right, submit the podcast link. Mm -hmm.